Hey everybody, all right, it's me Chris, so check it out. I got my Sunday sauce cooking away, and I wanna make some fresh pasta to have with my Sunday gravy today. So, um, really easy to do. This is just one version of a recipe that I'm gonna show you, but one of the things you really need that's pretty essential is a pasta sheeter or pasta roller. Um, if you don't have one, you could roll it out with by hand with a rolling pin, paper thin, and just cut it with a knife but uh, it makes the job so much easier if you have one. This is the KitchenAid attachment that I'm using. This is the pasta sheeter itself. And then I have this attachment that cuts it into a uh, fettuccine or linguine type cut. So um, let's get started on the pasta. This is really, really, you won't believe how easy it is and it's so much better than, well I shouldn't say better. Not that it's better than dry pasta, but it's really delicious and it's just a nice change of pace. And for something like a Sunday sauce, you cook that for eight hours or so. You really want to take the extra time. And uh, I like to go ahead and make some fresh pasta. So we got our ingredients. All you need really is eggs, a pinch of salt. I got two types of flour. I got a little bit of semolina and regular all-purpose flour. And then we'll put a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. But this is literally going to come together in a few minutes. I'm going to do here... Three and a half cups of flour, two, three, actually, maybe three and a quarter. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of semolina. I don't want to use a lot. It makes it very, it makes the pasta tough, depending on the recipe you use. I'm going to use my hand, I'm going to go around and make a nice well in the middle. This part you don't need a machine for. Make sure you got plenty of room in there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna crack my eggs. Now, these are brown eggs. I will recommend if you're using white eggs that you crack them before you put them in the flour because if you do get a shell in there, you won't be able to see it. I'm gonna be able to see this because of the brown shells. So I'm not worried about that. Okay. That one couldn't wait to be broken. I'm just going to wash my hands and I'll show you how we put so it together. I wash my hands. I cracked my four eggs in my well for my pasta. I'm just going to put a little pinch of salt. Not too much. And a little bit of olive oil. Just a little drizzle. Maybe a tablespoon. And I'm going to use just a... I got a regular fork. I'm going to whisk the eggs up a little bit. Just be careful you don't break your wall here. Get those mixed. And then start bringing in some of the flour and whisking that in with the eggs. Just being careful not to break down the wall. Your eggs will run all over the place. And whisk it like this and get it mixed well. Keep coming in. Now I got my flour. I got my uh, flour board down here. I use this for, to make all my doughs, and I put a, a wet towel under there so it doesn't slide because I'm gonna need to work this dough and knead it a lot. So I can't have the board moving around all over the place. I need to make sure that it stays where it is. Keep mixing here. We're getting closer, and the idea here is. I just want to get it till it comes together enough that I can start working it with my hands. And we're just about there. You can see how it, there's not much watery part of the egg left. It's all a pretty solid mixture. Okay, that's good enough. I'll clean off my fork. I'm going to start bringing this together. I got this scraper that comes in very very handy you just want to press it and just start forming your dough okay I can bring it around and then you'll see as I start to mix this eventually it's gonna to come together as somewhat of a dough ball and and break away and if there's too much flour you just leave it there and push it to the side but I mean literally in 90 seconds it starts to come together and form into a pasta ball. And press down. 
Just keep mixing it and working it until it combines. So I could feel here that I probably have a little too much flour um, and it's getting very firm. So what you could do is once you feel like you got a pretty solid dough bowl, you could either add a little water if you want or you could just slide the excess out of the way that's that's not going to be incorporated or it's not mixing you get that out of the way and then we can work this as the actual pasta dough so you really got to keep working this and it's it's hard to do you got to press down so you get a nice smooth ball so I'm gonna mix this until it's nice and smooth and yellow okay so I've been kneading this for about five minutes and basically I just pick it up, press down, turn it up again, press it down, and just keep going. And again, this is really hard work. So, But you can see, and what I meant by the dough turning yellow is that it's not a white floury mess anymore. You can see the yellow tint of the egg come through, and it's pretty smooth. And, you know, I hate to waste flour here, um, but... I found a couple times I made this, if you start adding water and more eggs, it just makes a mess. The dough will come together pretty much on its own and tell you when it's ready to be formed to a bowl. So that's it. You got homemade pasta. I'm going to wrap this in plastic, put it in the fridge for at least a half hour to an hour and we'll be ready to make our, our uh, pasta.